Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. I am doing another resin pour today and it's very exciting. I'm doing a coaster and a platter set and I'm just going to start pouring my mixed resin into my little cups because I don't want to run out of time. I've got about 35 minutes. Oh, it's a bit cool today. So somewhere between 25 and 35 minutes for work time. So I have to be careful I don't run out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do teal. So basically gorgeous teal colours. And I'm just trying to divide my... resin here. Oops, I don't need that much of the white. Alright, I'm going to keep some clear in there just to um, see if I need any more. So this is great. Cost me a lot of money, but look, these good quality moulds, which are nice and thick and heavy, are I think worth the money. So four coasters and a, a little platter. So yay, I just got them from Etsy. Can't remember the name of the shop. Um, actually, Shattered Shapes, I think it was. And I'm going to put a, a spoon of black mica powder into the end cup. It's, my cups are about half full. I might need a little bit more resin in that one because I've got, let's do half full. There we go, half full. And I think I'll put a couple of drops of alcohol ink in there as well. Um, the black is, it is, it is, Pearl X Carbon Black. And then a couple of drops of the Pinata Black in there as well. One, two. Okay. Um, I don't have enough stir sticks. Hopefully this is not going to be too long a video because, you know, I'm going to run out of time. I'm just going to stir these over here because I don't want to get mica <coughs> pigments flying into my moulds. What I did was I, I got some um, alcohol spray. This is, oh, there we go, 100% or 99% isopropyl. Um, I sprayed it into the mould just a tiny bit and then I used a lint-free cloth just to clean everything out so we didn't get any bits of dust and things like that okay so that's my black the next one is teal of the pinata ink and I know I'm going to need like a good squirt of that so I'm just going to put a squirt in I'm not going to worry about counting drops just a squirt for now I'm going to get a wriggle on Give that a stir. So this is going to stay pretty transparent. You can see the stick through there. So I want some transparent colours, some opaque colours, very similar to what I would do if I was doing an acrylic pour, flip cups. You know, you get your good effects from having transparents and opaques. Let's find another squirt of that. It's a little bit too transparent. You can use as much or as little as you want with the alcohol inks. Some people only use like three drops. So that's that one. Now the next one is a pigment paste. I've actually mixed phthalo blue and phthalo green together. And I'm just going to put a little tip like that. Very strong. A little bit like that goes a long way. That's not quite, not quite opaque yet. Let's just do another little tip. I probably shouldn't be putting that same stick in there, should I? Okay, so there we go. Hope my resin doesn't go off. I'm going to get a wriggle on. 
I mean, you can only stir as fast as you can stir, hey? Okay, beautiful. Uh, the next one is, oh, now this. I forgot. This is, I'm going to get another cup. Um, I've been told that when you mix these um, primary elements, they need to go into a little bit of alcohol first to dissolve. So let's try that. Let's do a spoonful into there. It is called peacock feathers and rightly named. It is very peacocky. Now I'm just going to spray some of my alcohol in there. Just to wet that. Oh, I hope that wasn't too much. Oh, that looks like it's maybe too much. Let me try again. Let me get another cup. I really have no idea what I'm doing here, you guys. I'm learning as I go. But I think that was too much, so let's do it again. I would hate it not to set because I've put too much in. Too much alcohol, that is. I don't know. Someone said you only need a drop. Let's do one spray. There we go. One spray. Um, oh, let's use the same stick to stir it, hey? Okay, that's not quite enough. Two sprays. Oh, I'm getting stressed that I'm running out of time now. Not, still not wet. Three sprays. It's kind of gone a bit clumpy. Right, let's just leave that to sit for a minute. Um, move on to the next one. Now this is lime green in the pinata. You know, I want teal, so I've sort of blueies and greenies here. Oh, gosh, shouldn't work over my coasters. So now I'm dripping bits and pieces into it. All right. Uh, now we'll do a squirt again. Actually, let's do two squirts because I did two squirts last time. So that is the lime green. So I'm hoping these colours will work nicely together. You know, we've got some teal. We've got some... That's a bit... Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Blues and greens. You know, they'll mix together and hopefully they'll make a pretty teal kind of a turquoise colour. My other marker pigments haven't arrived yet. I've ordered some from Amazon. It's taken a couple of weeks. I haven't arrived yet. My casting craft has arrived though, so let's put some of that in. I don't need a lot of it. I'm going to do a little puddle. And let's do a squirt. There we go. Uh, those that have seen my beach pour will realise that I didn't put enough cast and craft in. I put like a pea size in, which people had advised me to. But then when I looked on videos to see what other people did, they just did this big squirt into about the same amount. So I'm going to try that. Now this one, I've only got a little bit. I'm going to put my lid on my cast and craft. Apparently that makes nice, pretty effects. Got to stir this, hey. Keep it. Keep it from hardening up. Now the next one, I'm just putting some little gold flakes in here. Haven't got much resin in that one because I just want to make a paste, really. Just a little bit in the bottom. If you put too much in, they tend to fly away and you lose them. I'll put a few more little flakes in there. So I have to remember I've got to do enough for the coasters and the platter. So just a thick paste. Okay, and then I've got my clear. Right, so back to this baby here. Let's see what it's doing. I'll pour that resin into there. And hopefully this will mix up. I did use these once before, the um, Pearl X pigments and they didn't really dissolve they kind of just sank to the bottom 
That's why I thought maybe I can add the alcohol. So they're still they're still kind of suspended, but hopefully it'll be all right. As I said, my pigments haven't arrived yet. Anybody wants to send me some mica pigments, mica powders? If you're in Australia, Express Post, sure would appreciate it. I had one lovely lady from um, Pixie Dust Pigments send me some. A few pinks and things, but I really need some more colours. But no, I don't want to ask. I guess I could buy them, couldn't I? But I could. All right, um, let's get going here, hey? Before my resin goes off. Put my lids on everything. Make sure my lids are on everything. Right, so the first thing I want to do is go around the edge of everything with a little bit of black. Just a touch. I find the black makes these gorgeous like lacings over the top. So here we go, a little tiny bit of black, as little as I can. And hopefully it's opaque enough to give me the desired effects that I want. Catch the drips. With the platter, I will need to put a thicker line on because it's bigger. <clears throat> so I must remember to do that. I'm trying to work pretty fast here so I don't run out of work time. Okay, here we go with the big one. Hopefully I've made up enough resin. The resin is um, Barnes Clarity. Please be enough to go around. That's a two to one. Oh yes, look at that, there's enough. It's a two to one. Um, hope that's not too much. Let's see if I can take a bit of that out. I just know that it's going to creep in. Oh, that'll do. A little bit left. Wipe my hands. I've got some paper towel all ready to go next to me there in case I need to wipe my hands. I've got pieces of paper towel cut up. All right, now the next one I want to do is some, um, oh gee, I haven't got enough of this, teal. Looks blue, but it says teal on the bottom, on the bottle. So I've got enough for that, but I haven't got any left for the platter. So, oh my gosh, let's make up some more for the platter. Just as well I've got this clear left over. And where is it? Another two squirts of teal. Stir that. Looks blue, doesn't it? It's probably just because it's on a pink background. Stop pushing in black. You're being a bully. Oh dear, there's a lot of black there. I don't want it to take over too much. Well, this will be a learning experience. Okay, so now with the teal, go in the middle. I hope I made up enough resin. Look at that, I haven't even gone to the edges there. There's a little hair sitting on the bottom. There we go, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my gosh, I haven't got enough teal for the other coasters. Let me put a little tiny bit more in. Did not think this through very well. Having such a big work area here. 
I was actually going to do this video in two parts, the coasters first and then the platter, but I thought, well, what if I can't get the colours exactly the same? I'm going to try and fill in these little gaps here. I mean, the, the resin is going to be pushed around when I put the next layer in. I'm going to do the puddle, puddle pour. Okay, that's that one done. I'll keep that there in case I need anything else. Now, the next one is the pigment paste. Let's do that. Um, now, this is just going to be a little puddle in the middle. Whoops, spilt. Look at the black take over, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hope it doesn't ruin the whole thing. Okay, now on top of that, I want to do a little bit of the cast and craft. A little puddle on top of that. Just a little one. So hopefully this will give some really pretty effects on the other side, the back of the coaster. This is very heavy. It's an opaque paint, so it kind of falls straight through. I've got some black left. Okay, so now what I want to do is, I think what I'll do now is put some of this lime. Actually, no. Let's do some clear and push that out so from up high to the middle push it out a little bit okay now the Oh, that's the pigment. Okay, now we'll do the Pearl X in the middle. Oh, that's pretty. Just got to be careful not to overfill these before I'm finished. Oh, it's looking so pretty. Wowzers. Almost don't want to do the lime now. Okay, here we go. Let's do the lime. to give it a little bit of a pop into the middle. Mm -hmm. um, looks like I might have a bit of extra resin left. I'll do, I'll do one of these if I've got any left. Oh my gosh, oh, I should torch. <laughs> I should torch before I do anything else. I'm using this other one because my other ones run out of gas, butane. This one doesn't sound as if it's got much left in it, but let's keep going. Pop, pop, pop your bubbles. More so in the middle than because I don't want to burn my my mold. I have got a heat gun, a heat, yeah, heat gun, but I don't want it blowing everything around. Now I can see that there's a couple of little hairs on. See, I've got this really bright light shining down so I can see if there's anything on the surface. I can pick them out. Oh, there's a hair. It's always a hair. Okay, now what? Now this, this mould here is deeper than these ones. This, these actually don't have very much space left at all um, let's go with some clear for these guys and then i can add a little bit of the gold and i'm going to put the rest of my clear in here and then i know that's all i've got left are you having fun? Are you enjoying this? Oh my gosh, I'm a bit nervous. I really am. I mean, this is a huge project. 
and I'm such a newbie to resin. I really am. Oh, now see how full I've made that? Uh-uh. The tips on back. I forgot. If you want to make a nice puddle, you can't have it any more, any, like, don't even go half full, less. Otherwise, you can't pour where you want it to pour. It just sort of runs down the, the side. So if you want to just pour in the middle, be really careful. I think these are going to be quite dark. I hope they're not going to be too dark. Um, now, let me see. I'm just looking over the top. Might be able to put a little bit more colour in, actually. I'm not going to go anywhere with the dark. Might put a little bit more of this Pearl X in, actually. In the centre. Push the other colours out. Oh, look at that. I'm going to use it all. See, this one is deeper. Because you don't want your platter to be bendy, do you? So it's a bit deeper. All right, that's all of that one used up. Maybe I won't do that after all. Um, so I've got some black. I've got some pigment paste. Um... I don't think I'll do any more cast and craft. I haven't got much left of that. I will just put a little bit more of this lime. I'm loving that lime. Probably should have put a little bit more white in just to lighten it because they look they look really dark. I probably didn't need the black, you know. All right, now, tiny bit more clear. And then I'm going to put my gold in. I'm running out of uh, clear. Here we go, that's it. All gone. So this one's not going to be as, I'm not going to fill it right up to the top, which is okay. It's fine. Now the other thing I found is if you just pour a little bit of this nice and close, just in the centre, not too much, it tends to just, oh, I dripped, oh, quick, get it out, get it out, no, it's gone, that won't matter. This one will pour kind of a bit of an oval shape. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did it. Yay. That was never. Oh, look. I've still got some clear. I forgot I didn't pour it all into there. I'm a duffer. I'm a duffer. All right. Here we go. Because I poured some back, didn't I? Because I said, don't overfill your cup. And I poured some back. Yay. You got a little bit left. Next time I do these, I'd like to do two layers of the white. The cast and craft. Um, I just kind of ran out of space in my coasters. Um, I would like them to dome. Let's just add a little bit of clear. That's just gonna just enough to sort of push the gold down in case it hasn't all gone down. All right, how much more can I put in? I want to finish this off. I'm just going to take them up to the top. Make sure that they're domed. That way you don't get that little lip that you have to then file down. But you don't want to break your banks either, so to speak. <laughs> All right, that is it. That is done. So they're looking very dark. I hope they don't stay that dark maybe the other side will look prettier all right let me get you down for a close-up oh that was nerve-wracking you guys i will paint the edges of these um in gold okay close the blind oh it looks so pretty i just hope to all hope that it's not going to be too dark that's the only concern I have. But hey, if it is too dark, 
guess what? I get to do another set. Yes, I do. Loving that little pop of lime in there. I mean, these aren't going to stay like this. You're very dark, aren't you? Not going to stay like this at all. They will change for sure. I wonder if the gold's going to fill in there. Now, let me see if I can show you over the surface here. I'll get down, oh, I'll get down on the ground. Can you see that they're kind of doming, as in making a, a mound over the top of the mould, rather than a little dip? I can't really show you. I had to climb back up again. <laughs> Get mould, it's a long way down. All right, so there they are. Let's have a look from the top. Hopefully we haven't got too much reflection. Um, I am expecting the top to sort of close over with the, the black. Anyway, um, I might come back in, say, half an hour and just have another look at them. I'm going to give them another quick torch now and I'll come back in half an hour and, and see what they're doing, okay? See you then. It's been about an hour and I went and made some biscotti <laughs> uh, let's have a look mm, I can actually see through down to the bottom it's like looking into the ocean from a glass bottom boat So I can actually see through them now. I was really concerned that it was going to be too dark, but it looks as if the black's kind of settled. hope so. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, same thing. Yeah, I can actually see through to the blue along the edges. So that's good. I mean, they still do look very dark. That's all right. I'll just do it again. And without the black that's what I was going to do initially and uh, then I thought oh let's add some black for a bit of contrast but I really didn't need to with the teal pigment paste it was it's dark enough all right I'll see you for the unmolding tomorrow good morning welcome to my favorite part of the day the unmolding just got my little white gloves on so that I don't get any oils or fingerprints on these babies because you know they're not cured yet they only poured them yesterday so let's have a look they're starting to pop out already they, they just pop out so easily from this these molds let's have a little look i'm just gonna put oops i'm gonna put a white background down just so that we can see because it's a bit hard to see with the black background look at that oh my gosh you can actually see through it in the middle oh thank goodness i thought they were just going to take you know the black was just going to take over but that is so pretty look at the lime wow all right let's get them all out um and then we'll have a look at the backs okay let's move you out of the way i've got my little plate holders so I'll just put them there for now let's do another one it's a little bit dif difficult to juggle all of this stand them up have a white background <laughs> oh, oh look at that I wonder how close I can get you without it blurring you can see a little bit of gold in the middle there we have actually got a tiny little bit of black around the outside haven't we which is nice and the black didn't take over wow look at that um 
that teal. Now the um, the alcohol ink is looking really pretty in there. Right, I'll just leave them here for now because I can't. Um, oh, you all want to pop out already? Okay, let's go. So I can't stand them all up. Plus, show you on a white background. One's a little bit more dark, darker. A little bit of blue on the edge here showing through. Tealy kind of a blue. That must that was the um, the pigment paste. Hey, sorry for the reflections. It's like it's like filming a mirror. It's really hard to do. So pretty, love it. All right, last one. Oh, well, actually, not the last one because we've still got the platter to do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it just wants to pop out. I love this mould. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I know they're expensive, but, you know, I think it's worth the investment. This one's got like a dark side and a light side. You know, it's like anything. You pay a little bit more and you get good quality and it lasts for a long time. Again, little transparent centre there. You can see my fingers through the back there. It's kind of like an eyeball, isn't it? You can see the you can see the rings that I made. Oh, I love it. Okay, um, now let's let's look at the back. Hey, see what's happened. We'll see if this um, what is it? Primary elements. See if it's actually dissolved. I have a feeling that it didn't because last time I used it in one of my other coasters, it didn't dissolve. It just sort of sat on the back in a big blob. So, but anyway, we'll see. It's all I had at the time. Righto, <clears throat> let's go. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Look at that. Goodness me. There is a lot of, there is a lot of that, um, blue on the background look at that so it has kind of sunk but the um the white <clears throat> I only did one layer of that white cast and craft and you can see it around the edges there that's the effect that it does it's really pretty and um, I did put a decent amount in this time so yay but yeah that um that pigment this one, what's it called? Didn't really, didn't really dissolve. But it's still pretty. So I guess you could use it either way, hey. I think I prefer it that way. All right, let's look at all the others. And see the backs? That was that one. That one's, that one's a little bit darker. I always put more black in that one. Oh, look at that, same thing. Oh, and do you remember that little blob of gold that I, I dropped and then I said, oh, I can't get it out, it's gone already. That's it there. <laughs> Drop straight to the bottom. So it's a bit of a shame, but hey. Oh, I love that white. See, I did the puddles like Petra does. Petra Youngbold. And um, she does the puddle paws. This is what I've been learning from her. I watch her videos every day over and over and over and over. I mean, I haven't got the same products, but... I'm learning from her and she does the puddles and, and I did the puddle and it pushed that white to the edge there like that so yay love it okay next I'll try and be quick I still got to paint the edges gold don't I okay look at that now you can see look at that see how I don't have any lip at the back there it's just smooth that's because I filled up my molds enough that they were sort of um, mounding so nothing to file there and let's get beautiful smooth edges oh look at that one these are so pretty you guys well I think they're pretty look at the sparkle so we've got the gold sparkle I mean that's obviously sunk to the bottom you can still see the the rings but that that blue has really taken over i have ordered some more um mica powders from pixie dust 
and the lovely Mel sent me a few freebies as well so <clears throat> appreciate that and the last one so when they come I'm going to do some more blues and greens and turquoises and things like that I love them I love them all so happy with these and I was so worried that they were going to be too dark oh look at that do you like the gold it's a really pretty gold isn't it it does sink no, it's not there sitting on the top it sinks it's dark it's heavier so obviously anything that's heavier is going to sink maybe I still will use these primary elements maybe just a little bit though you know because they do they do sink but it's still really pretty okay oh we haven't done the big one yet the big one the big one let me move everything out of the way move this over oops you can sit up there here it is it does look darker probably because it's big I, you know that the black that I put in there it ended up being like that wide it just spread so next time not so much black for sure let me just zoom out a little bit so that you can out not in because it's a big one okay put my glove back on are we ready hope it's nice still got a little bit of pink showing through the center there where the gold didn't go back in look how easy that just comes off no problems at all oh my gosh look at it look at it wow just throw that over there oh wow look at it it's that in the middle don't know oh my gosh look at the rings now this one because it was bigger I did I did more rings <clears throat> and I think I did extra lime as well so we've got the the very dark edge of the black more so on the edges on the left and right because it's oval and then when I did my puddles they just kind of stretched into circles oh wow that is so pretty and um, I've got the clear center hello <laughs> which looked pink in the pink mold obviously let's see how close we can get I know there's a little bit of lights and things shining but you do need a little bit of light in the studio oh that is just so pretty <clears throat> not exactly the color scheme I was going for you know I was going for teal but I've got lime and blue actually look at the black look at the little this is what the black does looks like little tadpoles <laughs> I think they look like little tadpoles swimming over the top see that that's what the black does when you have your black around the edge this is what I've learned um, and then you pour your alcohol ink in next and um, it pushes over the top of the black the black comes back into the center and it makes these little these cute little effects like tadpoles or black lacing so pretty okay let's flip her over ready and this one's got a little bit of a lip because I didn't fill it up all the way I'm not going to sand it though I, I find it's it's going to be just fine you know it'll stop things sliding off <laughs> if you put something on it it'll stop it from sliding off oh it's just so pretty I think this is the best set I've done yet all right beautiful look at that resin finish glass finish are we ready <gasps> Ta -da! oh look at that that's much lighter than the others is it maybe I think it looks hey look at the gold that's what the difference is look at the gold in that one it's kind of stayed in the middle and then the gold in this one that's because I poured that extra clear on 
and disperse the gold. Look at that. I've taught myself something. I do like the clear centre and the gold that's dispersed. Do you like that? Do you like how the gold is dispersed? Or do you like the gold more in a, a blob in the middle? Oh, well, there you go. Learn something again. Learning every day. So pour more clear on top of it, on top of this one and it just dispersed all that gold. Same thing with the black. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, all right, I'll shut up now. Um, the other thing I did, I had a tiny bit of resin left. I did it off camera because I didn't think I was going to have anything left at all. But I did this little guy. Let me just put that back. It's just a tiny little bit. It's really, really dark on top. This was one of those um, three cavity molds that I just cut because I didn't like the idea of only doing three. So I cut them all and now I can do as many as I want. I just like that then. It's trimmed around the top of each. All right, so that's that's the top, really dark. It's got the little lip because I didn't fill it up all the way. And apparently resin shrinks away from the side, so that's why you get that little lip. Okay, let's have a look at the back. Now, remember, I only had leftovers. Like I didn't, I just poured everything in. I didn't have much of anything. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Actually, I don't, uh, did I put white in it? I don't even know. A lot of lime in that one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, look at the lime. I actually like that. Wow. See, the other ones have got the, um, the white edge. I wonder what I did. I didn't write it down. I must have poured the lime on top of the, um, Cast and craft white. Oh my gosh, to get that, like it's the limes mixed with the white. Wow. And look at the black ring around the outside. How pretty is that? Hey? Oh, that's just gorgeous. Oh, geez, I've been yakking on for 14 minutes. I'm sorry, but I just really wanted to show you. Every little thing, so not much chop on this side at all. You know, it's very, very dark. So that will be the side that we use. Now, let me just get set up and um, I'm going to paint one of them gold while you're here, and then I'll do the rest off camera. Now, if you do have any little edges that you want to file, I just use a nail file basically, an emery board. Um, and if you do it within you know, 24 hours, or well, after 24 hours, it's quite soft, the resin, and just falls off really easily. Righto. So I'm going to use the gold Krylon leafing pen. You have to shake them up really well. Um, and I really don't know which side I would use. I really don't. I'll make sure that we've just got all the dust off the edge before I I paint the edge. I'll just do one real quick. Um, I've got my little blotting board here. Just make sure that it, you have to push down on these. If you haven't used them before, you have to give them a really good shake, push down on them, make sure that the paint's flowing before you start. Okay. And I'm just going to hold it like that so I can get the edge. So what I actually found is easier um, and you don't waste as much pen is just follow the oh, little hair on the end. If you just follow the rim or edge across the top first, so half on, half off with your pen, and just basically follow that edge. And then turn it around to make sure that you're not going to touch the gold where you've just put on because it will smudge. It does dry pretty quickly and if it dries and you make a mistake you'll have to use an alcohol swab. I buy them by the box full from the pharmacy or chemist because I'm always using them for something. So yeah it does dry pretty quick and you'll have to use the alcohol swab to, to get it off. Just make sure that you don't um, smudge it. So that goes on pretty quick like that. 
pen just naturally wants to follow that little ridge there. Okay, so that's the first side done. <clears throat> and then turn it over. And it's not quite so easy to do on the on the back because the ridge isn't quite as much, but you can still put, I'll show you here, half on, half off. And just follow that little ridge around. Again, move your fingers around so that you're not touching the edge. <sighs> hair on it. Wish I could not have hairs and fluff in my studio. This might be running out this pen. So I'm just going to do this one and uh, then I'll go and finish them off. I just take them into the into the living room and um, just sit on the couch with a pillow on my lap and um, I put tissues between each one while I'm doing them so they don't scratch and they don't um, bleed into each other. You know, if you've put one on top of the other and it's wet. So I just take my time. It's a bit difficult doing it sort of standing here in front of the camera. But I'll show you one and then I'll go and do the others. So what do you think? Just finished it off nicely, hasn't it? Now with your edge there, because you've already got the top and the bottom, it's very easily just to fill in the lines, <laughs> fill in the gaps like that. How easy is that? Oops, we're going blurry again. Just trying to focus on the um, ones behind. <laughs> So that's it. I have to go to work today, but I wanted to come and do this before I went and got ready for work. What's the time? 8.30. I've got two hours before I have to go. Plenty of time, isn't it? Finish these, have a shower, do my hair and makeup, pack my dinner. I'm doing, um, what am I working today? 11, 11 till 7.30. So I won't get home until almost eight. Oh, sorry. I'm doesn't know what to focus on and then give it a bit of a shake and push again make sure that the um the paint's coming through i think we're nearly oh yeah we're nearly there okay here i'll try and hurry but those of you don't need to see or don't want to see me painting edges you can just fast forward or <laughs> oh look we're nearly there last little bit yay um, I find it doesn't really need a second coat. Let me pop the lid back on that. And there we go. Do you like that side? Or do you prefer that side? Let me pop it up here. It's dry now. So there we go. Well, it's going to take me a while, isn't it, to do all those edges on all of them. But I think I'm going to because I really, really love this set. That's what it looks like with the gold edge done. Oh, we're getting very glary here. This is the big one. I love the transparency of that one. Can't wait to paint that one gold. I'm probably going to use up all my pen on that one. And then the little surprise package over there. All right. <clears throat> love them. And um, I'll go and edge them all and uh, I'll be back and show you the results.